right, here we are again. It's been about a day, so let me just refresh my brain a little bit on exactly what's going on. Oh, man, my honor rating's almost completely maxed out. Party morale's maxed out. Party size limit, 120. 835 right now. Right to rules, 99. We're at the tippity top of that. It's over with. Maxed out on that. Just about maxed out on everything. Got all the friends in the world. Let's see. Um, check out what we're looking at. Rafford, Despin, Rudin. Oh, yeah, I got Matthias, too. He's going to be my marshal as soon as he starts getting uh, getting stronger. Oh, he is 100% going to be the marshal that's going to be leading the charge. And if I can get Raylan, I can totally, like, swap between Matthias and Raylan. Perfect combination. I'll be able to take over the entire world with that. So, I believe last time we were making... Trying to get people to defect. Pretty sure all of my vassals are... Good, have good personalities so i think everybody's good i'm not exactly sure let me just check one last time rafford despin rudin nasugi caravan akadan nudar i think Tariger. yeah Tarigor is the uh odd man out here so i'm almost certain that if i can get one more good Vassal to defect. I'm not going to start no problems with nobody because I'm already I'm different and different and different. Hang on. Yeah, we provoked the Rodox and the Sultanet. So I'm not going to start no trouble. I'm going to wait and see who makes the first move. I'm anticipating it to be the Rodox, which I think I'm kind of ready to fight back on that. I'm not entirely sure. I know they still have Raylan. They still have Gutlands. Gutlands is incredibly strong. King Gravith is incredibly strong. Uh, let's see here. Grainwad, not so much. Reese, no. Bracha, no. Tanju. Uramuda is pretty strong. Garmal is pretty strong. Rikes. Rikes is incredibly strong. Halber is okay. I think I'm, I'm, I'm really been trying to get him to defect. Not too sure about the rest of these guys. So the Kingdom of Rodox is the main problem in Colorado right now. Like, Gravith is just becoming an emperor. He is literally, he literally controls an empire's worth of land, fiefs, castles, and towns. So these are going to be the guys that we're going to have to take over as soon as possible. I know the Kurjits have been making big power plays too. I want to say that... They're on par with the Nords as far as strength. We're getting down to the um, the last bit of bad vassals. We're in day 830. I think we're closing on, on day 830. Day 700 is usually when the chaos begins as far as booting everybody out of the realm and everything like that. So... But the Kyrgyz have been taking it to the Nords. The Kyrgyz took over the Swadian country, pretty much most of it. Nords haven't really pushed back that hard. So, Rodox was top dog. Nords was the second superpower, but I think the Kyrgyz are coming for them. As far as the Vagars go, they haven't really moved that much. And, you know, the Sultanate is dwindling. And Swadia is gone. So we're just going to continue. Now I have about a thousand troops. My budget report's still looking good. I still got quite a bit of money, so I don't really have to worry about that too much. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on trying to get Tauber to defect. If I can get him to defect, that means I can take Shari's. Who is that? Grainwad? Oh, Grainwad's a little stronger than I thought. Sheriff Castle or Rebellet? Nah, he ain't gonna talk to me. At least they're all not trying to take Jeremus from me. That was ridiculous. I lost so many relation points from them because of that. I don't know what it was. Every single person that I talked to gave me a side quest that they needed Jeremus to, because he's a good medic, to help them out with something. And it sucked because I didn't want to give him up. There's Talburn. I didn't want to give him up. But by not giving him up, I lost a relation point. With that vassal, you know, and uh, relations are everything to me. I want to keep relationship points up as high as possible, whether it's villages, good vassals. Don't really care too much about bad vassals. 
Okay, here we go. Long may he live, man. Albert just loves he, lo he loves his emperor. I'm not even gonna call him King Gravith anymore. I'm gonna call him Emperor Gravith because it's just it's just what it is. I mean, look at this. I mean, I took Veluca from him, so you know, I've, I kind of got I kind of got something going on right smack in the middle of Rodok Country. But look at that. Never mind. What what was I saying earlier? I was just saying how the Kurjits were making power plays on the Nords. And then Gravith just comes through and, wow, just Thanos snaps all of the progress that the Kurjits made in the last few hours. Holy cow. Swadian Capital's gone. Suno's gone. Uxal's gone. They have taken over everything. I had no idea the Kurjits were, were dwindled like that because the last time I looked, Kurjits were, you know, they were making big moves. I don't even know when it happened because I've been paying attention so much on trying to just keep myself alive and making sure that I don't have a complete loss. Like if I lose all of my money and all of my soldiers at this point with the way with how many bandits there are, there's it's going to be so difficult to come back from a total loss. So that is just what I'm focused on right now. Um, I'm not. What do I do? What do I do? I'm going to go try to get one more good vassal from the Rodox to defect. Raylan's kind of dwindling a little bit, it seems. He's getting weaker. Jimmy Sargelon. I thought he owned... I thought he owned a town. Harsh... Uh-oh. Harsh world, harsh choices. That is... Calculated. That's calculated, but I don't... Hold on. I'm gonna have to bring up my uh my reference guide here. Let's see, harsh world, harsh choices. Yeah, that's calculating. Use argument lords for victory. Requires amount of land cons which claim. Um, I almost have a max honor, so I'm 100% going to go with the honor here. Never mind. I'm not going to do anything. Big waste of time, but at least I have my reference guide here. If nothing else, I at the very least have my reference. All right, well, never mind, Raylan. Go ahead and continue doing what you were doing. See who else we could talk to. I think this is Garmal, ain't it? Yeah, this Garmal. Is he in there? Nope. We just kind of hang out for a bit. See how much food I got. Belia. Oh, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. And he's Lord of a. Uh, maybe. Let's see here. Arms Institute to keep the peace, prevent the war. Okay, keep the peace, prevent the war. Use argument victory. He's upstanding. Okay, here we go. Argument victory, because I can unify. In danger. Nope. But he's definitely on the list. He's a good vassal. He has problems with Gravith. And he has no thieves. I don't even count. 81. Check it out. Rudin. We're getting strong. Yeah, I don't I don't count villages too much as far as thieves go. When it comes to other territories. Akadan, check you out. Okay, so you have 120 troops. But okay, what exactly do you have? Okay, so your Kurji, so you got 23 Lancers, that's good. Lancers are the max guys. You got a Sergeant in there. 66 Veteran Horse. Okay, so he's actually pretty strong. Nasugi, 31 Horsemen. Okay, so he's still kind of building his army here. Matthias, oh man, look at them. 32 Sergeants. That's, that is really good. 
Not as powerful as it could be, but he's getting there. He started off at, what, 80-something troops? Now he's at 114. We're going to be ready for this next war, boys. Whoa! Dude, when did this happen? That must have just happened. Vagers just took our killing castle, dude. I don't remember seeing that. Ronox is at war with the Connet. When did that happen? <laughs> the Vegas was like, you know what? Wow. Okay, so we're in the middle of the Rodok country. The Vegas have pushed in. Okay, so hopefully we got Gravis sweating a little bit because he is uh he is the he's the danger in Karatia right now. He is getting way too powerful. Okay, he's giving himself Ux Hall. Garmal has Suno. I bet. I bet that's where Garmal is. Riken, let's talk to him. Raven and Myra's castle. Nice. Keep the peace, prevent the war. That's upstanding. Long may he live. Yep, Gravis has been doing a really good job of keeping his vassals happy. And I'd love to get my hands on the Swadian capital. I did tell myself that at some point... At some point, 42 deserters, man. Check on. Let me make a pit stop real quick at Suno. What is this? Ragnar, Kramuk went to the Rodox. Red in Castle. Okay, so we still got vassals moving around here. Some cheese, the olives. Just try to go find people. Area, area. Uh, okay. Probably not a good idea anyway. Uh oh. Okay, so I actually I get I kind of get a lay of the land now. Two hundred and one. He must have picked some troops up. Definitely did. One forty one, two hundred and one. Grainwild, one hundred thirty seven. One twenty. Seeing Raylan's troops. He's getting weaker. They're definitely getting weaker. But that's just because they've been taking over everything. So, I mean, naturally, they're going to lose troops. They were extremely beefy for a long time. Nelcha. Okay, well. I'm going to leave them to do that. I need to find one more, just one more good vassal, so I get rid of Tariger. Dreams 259. I'm almost certain the Sultanate's not gonna, they're, they're not gonna go to war with us. They're not gonna mess with us. Where can I go? Okay, we got, I saw somebody here. There you are. Vargas, are you a good guy this go round? No, he's never a good guy, I don't think. Okay, well, whatever. Not worried about him anyway. Myria, he's a good guy. Look at you, man. You ain't got no fiefs. You got a great personality. Dude, come with me. Oh, you're just beefing with everybody, dude. You gotta... Come on now. Keep the peace and prevent the war. That's, uh, yep, that's upstanding. Use argument victory. Do not use claim, do not use ruler. Um, I have right to rule, and I have honor. You'll be safer. You're more comfortable. It would be good. Nope. Didn't do it. Oh, they're having like a feast or something in there. And our castle, that's Ragnar's. Okay, we're gonna go check out the Kurjit, see if there's anybody there. 931? We got farmers. 
Thunder. Excuse me. Pardon me, sir. Just want to speak to you real quick. Oh, this is a nice little pad here. Check this out. It's a nice little castle. This is very nice, dude. Look at you. Okay. Yeah, we have nothing to talk about. I'm definitely coming for your castle at some point. 48 and 27, man. These bandits are just getting out of control. Here again, we don't really have anything to talk about. You don't want to talk to me anyway. Nice. We are just building money now. I got a lot of troops and we're still three grand up. 25, 50. 50 what though? They don't even look like 50 prisoners. 8, 2, 1, 7, 4, 1, 2, 2. What my receipts look like whenever I go to grocery shop or to buy something at Walmart and it's like a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, two dollars, three dollars, and then somehow I'm spending over 200 bucks. 4 and 12. 41. Man. Bandits are strong. Did I talk to you yet? Hater. That's Hater. Dude. You used to be so strong. And you have no thieves. What happened? Yes, I did. I let you go free. Look at that. Institute to keep people blah, 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 upstanding. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're strong, dude. <sighs> Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. No. I can't be salty at this because I've been... I, I got a lot of good vassals. So... I got a lot of good vassals. Keep looking at these these bandits and, you know, if I just so happen to see a bunch of Rodok troops inside some bandits, I'm taking them. I'm taking them out. Tolga. Remus Marmoon. Sandra Khan's real strong. The problem is, I could go to war with the Sultanate, but I'm at. But there's a risk of war with the Rodox as well. I don't want to be fighting the Sultanic and the Rodox at one time. And I just got a feeling that if I decide to pick that fight with Sultan Hakim, that Gravith is going to jump in, and that's the last thing I want because they're still really powerful. It really doesn't matter. How many good vassals I have right now. I don't have a lot of land. And they're still building their forces. So it'd be pointless for me to jump into an unnecessary war. So I'm just kind of trying to feel it out. And play it by ear. And see what everything. What everybody's doing. Akeem's just giving himself everything. Did y'all recently lose Bari? No. No. It's, it's Hakeem's. Okay. Beggars and the Sultanates at peace. Where is everybody? Amarad. Boy, Hakim just got everything. Like, he's just like, you know what? I'm just going to rule my entire kingdom by myself. Literally by himself. He owns everything. I almost feel like he trapped himself. I don't know if the AI, if the enemy monarch ai is programmed to be able to give their own fiefs to somebody because he's gonna lose he's gonna lose yeah i don't think that's a mechanic all of his entire kingdom is his and there's no way his vassals are they can't even get strong like not off of villages really look at that urube dude he ain't got nothing and he might have given himself all of the villages, too. Better be the wolf than the lamb. Um, how do you feel? Yeah. I think I screwed that one up because I went for benefit. I shouldn't have gone for benefit because 509. Look at him. Dude, this guy is a one-man army. He will single-handedly take towns. I'm terrified of this guy. 67 Mamluks. 
It's going to take an army to fight just him. This might have been his power play. Maybe Hakeem was like, look, my, my kingdom is dwindling. I'm losing everything. My vassals suck. They don't listen. They can't take over anything. So I'm just going to rule my kingdom by myself. And I'm going to carry, I'm going to carry my kingdom by myself. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what happened. 509 troops. There's, I don't even think apart from my own kingdoms, my, my own fiefs, I don't think there's anything on the map that has that many troops in it. And this guy's just sitting here with, with uh, half a thousand. Crazy. Tributin, no fiefs. Whatever, dude. You just sit there and suffer by yourself. God, I can't get over that. 509 troops. Radun's a good guy, ain't he? Well, maybe not. Yeah, check you out. Aiden. Uh, I think I already talked to Urube. Yeah, dude, I don't... I would almost... <laughs> Yeah, it's it's hard to decide. It's really hard to decide. Who are you? Dashwall. Did I talk to you yet? Yeah, I did. I could almost see If I wasn't, if I, if there wasn't a risk of war with the Rodox, I would 100% try to pick a fight with somebody, but I just know it. I just know that if I go to war with anybody else, Gravis going to jump in. I just know he will. Let me be Marshall so that I can kind of see what we're working with here. Send a messenger, pigeon. Wait a minute. Yeah. Send a messenger, pigeon. Veterans, veterans, sharpshooters, sergeants. Yeah, definitely want to start doing that. All right, come on, guys. One. Okay. It's almost three. Where are you going? Hundred fifty one, two, three hundred, four hundred. Yeah, one, three, four, five, five hundred and fifty. Estimated 550. I'm doing quick math in my head. I know these numbers are not going to be specific. I'm just giving an estimate. Nice. Collecting more money. But everybody? I need more people to show up. I mean, 550 troops. It's not bad. We could do some damage with that. Now I got to decide what I want to do. The only way I'm going to get more vassals is by defecting... And taking over land. But the problem. Who do I fight? If I go to war with the Rodox. They're going to go after Veluca. And Matthias is going to. Speaking of Matthias. Where is it idiot at? There's new um. Hey. Circumstances have changed. I'm perhaps needed most at home. Not accompanying the marshal because I can do greater deeds. There is nothing greater. Yeah, follow me. Oh, yeah, that's right. I need to start working on um, feast. I need to work on doing feast, too. Hmm. Do what to do. I want to go to war with the courage eats. Okay. Well, I'm about to...
What am I doing, dude? I think this is what I'm gonna do. All right, we're gonna go to war. Do I have? I have Sarmish. Yeah, I'm gonna lose relation, but only a little bit. Matthias is a marshal. I'm surprised. I'm actually really surprised that that wasn't beneficial to him. All right. We're at war, boys. What are we going to do about it? We're going to take his Zendak castle. That's what we're going to do. We're jumping right into it. We're not wasting any time. Oh, good lord. This is a strong castle. Eight hours. Should have checked my food beforehand. Uh oh. Sultan Hakim lost more. Okay, so Kurjits. War on two fronts. It's over with for him. I think this is going to be the end of the Kurjits. So. And hopefully, Hakim is going to go around trying to take over stuff, and that's going to weaken him too, because he's naturally going to lose troops. Every time he, may, every time that dude's going to go somewhere and fight, he's going to lose troops and get weaker. So that's definitely what we want. All right, zero, three, one, one, two. My shield up. Let's see what kind of castle this looks like. Okay, I don't want to just rush in. I have 500. I have an army of 500, but still, that doesn't mean that I want to just throw everybody in there because I want this to be a long campaign, and it can't be if I have too many casualties. Zero, three, two. All right, let's see what these numbers look like. Plus, there's a hundred. There's over a hundred archers here, so I I kind of have to. You know, I can't just throw them in there. What's going on here? Oh wait, this is cavalry. Is that? That's right. That's what it was. I'm almost curious. You know what? Yeah, y'all go ahead. We're just gonna see what happens. Thinking about it, they have lancers, but there's way more archers, and archers aren't equipped to fight Swadey and knights and man at arms and, and sergeants. They're just not equipped for it. The apes should be able to push in. 100%. Yeah. Nudar's in there just messing them up. Oh, yeah. 100% pushing in. And okay, well, I'm not leading the charge, but I'll bring up the rear. How far have we pushed in?
Come on, let me in. Let me in so I can help. There's still a good 70 troops left to kill. Gotta make sure I don't fall down. Shields up. Swing high. Hit him in the face. Oh, no. That was really dumb. Well, it's up to y'all now. I think we're doing good, though. Oh yeah, yeah, we're good. And we didn't even take that bad of casualties. Ah, trying to get your last licks in, huh? I see. Is there somebody up here with me? Who are those? Hey, archers? I went the wrong way. Oh, you know what? Nope. I think I can. Yep. I think the battle's going to be over by the time I get there. Yeah, it's it's over. All right. Zendai Castle's ours. And with us getting more land, that means more vassals to start defecting to us. And maybe we'll even get a good one. And I will have a castle ready for them. Well, come on, what's going on? There's one guy left. Wow, oh, we did really well against them. Just 26 casualties. Right? I'm not taking any of those. Oh, step charger. Thank you. I don't know why. No more of it. I mean, I... I mean, of course I'm going to take this stuff, right? But what do I need? No, I need to stop taking dumb stuff. There's no reason for me to have it. All right. Zendak Castle's ours. Moving on to Uhun. Let's go, boys. Let's see. Wishes to be at peace so as to pursue the war against the Kurzites. Refers to his omitting any title. This does not constitute recognition. You know, something that I've always wondered. As many years as I've been playing this game, I've always gotten this response. Like, he just refers to you as your name, omitting any title. So he doesn't call you king. He doesn't, but they never do. I don't, as many years as I've been playing, I have never had any other response but this one. This does not constitute recognition of your right to rule. I don't know what mechanic, I've never really looked it up either. I'm sure there's probably something stupid and something small, like maybe feast or going to talk to him, or or maybe my relation needs to be higher, or, or maybe I need to do quests for him while I'm a monarch, I don't know. It's probably something small and something stupid, but I just always was always curious. I'm never called King Monkey or anything, you know. Okay, welcome back. Let's keep this train going. 82? Oh, dude. Wait a minute. To pursue the war with the Kurzites.
Oh my gosh. The Rodox, the Sultanic, and and us. It's over with for them. Oh, they're they're in bad shape. They're in really bad shape. I need to get to the towns ASAP. Because as soon as as soon as Raylan gathers everybody, he's gonna go on a killing spree and he's gonna take everything, just like he did Praven, just like he did Suno Nuzal. Wow. And you know what? I guess that's why this happened. The Kurjits might have gotten a little too strong. Alrighty, had to shut it down. But see, why didn't they do that with the Rodox though? Literally two hours. I sat for two hours. So much so that I even stepped away from my computer and went to do other stuff. I sat for two hours. Nothing happened. Couple border incidents. Nobody wanted the smoke. Nobody stepped up to the road dogs. So, who knows? But I do know Uhun Castle is about to be taken. And it's a siege tower. Okay, never mind. Before I do this, yeah, I'm not going to have enough food for this. We're going to go to Nara real quick. Hang on, guys. Who are you? Drooly, you good guy? Well, you see what's happening. I was inviting you. Ooh, get that honey. Take some <laughs> bread. Just bread. Return your I don't I'm not selling it, I'm just trying to move it. Okay, that's what that was then. Visit a tavern real quick. I think I already... Who is that? Artiminer? There, there's a couple of upstanding or good companion personalities that I can make him a vassal. All right. Two days. Let's go. We're doing it. Has anybody going to exile with us yet? <laughs> Amdar is about to have a rude awakening. Hey, I'm going to the Kurjits. Uh oh, where's the Kurjits? Been mistreated by the Nords. Well, Vagar and the Nords might go at it. And your Khan is sweating. Well, who's that? Look at you. I'm going to join the fight. He probably didn't. There's Nuam. That's Turagor. That's who that is. Yeah, that's what that banner is. That's Turagor. Turagor is like, yeah, you know what? They're winning, so let me join them. Let me join them so that I can pretend like I was involved. You did. What is this place? That's a siege tower, anyway. Let's see, you're going to hold this position... You're going to hold this position. Sitting here with no shield up. One, one. And archers, I need y'all over here. Okay, y'all need to like stand closer. Or something two four zero three two light them up gents light them up Need more people pushing the siege tower. Come on, guys. Hit your shots. Y'all need to get closer? Okay, we'll hold your fire and get closer then. See if that works. Now try. 
Uh oh. <laughs> Who is that? It's a veteran horse archer. Wonder if that can happen to me somehow. I wonder how it happens to them. We're not killing anything. I guess this is just a really bad area. I mean, they do have the high ground. And it's pretty high. There we go. Okay, there we go. I saw that red mist right there. Bridge should be up. Oh, yeah, they're getting ready. The bridge is about to open up. There we go. We're pushing in. Hey, how can I help? How can I help? can't move and I fail I always fall you know I actually do want to participate in these battles seriously but I just get shoved out of the way like I'm just irrelevant like I don't matter Still got a ways to go. I don't care, man. I got an idea. I don't know if it's going to work. But I got an idea. I'm going to get him to follow me. And then I'm just going to rush in. I'm just going to jump in. It's probably a stupid idea. But we're going to see. Alright, come on guys. I see my opening. I 100% see my opening. Oh, I can't get in. Can I get in like this? Uh, I'm sneaking. I'm being sneaky. I don't know if it's a good idea. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> I didn't come in the right way, but I'm in. Oh, I'm about to start flanking, boys. Get down. Oh, we we're all about some overhead swing. Come on, guys, push. Push in. But still, if only there was a way. Oh, 
<laughs> I jumped through. It doesn't matter. It's over. Guys, form a single file line at least. Those archers can't be reached. There it is. There it is. Where are you running to? Ouch, dude. I'm gonna kill myself, parkouring. Where's he going? Oh, he was running. Victory is ours. Lost five sharpshooters. Casualties were a bit higher. But we can still push forward. Nah, I don't want none of these guys. Nope. Unnecessary. All right, we'll just hang on to that. 6072. What does that bring my weekly budget to? A little bit lower. Still good. All right. We're expanding. We are 100% expanding. Malayurg. Malayurg Castle, you're next. Oh, can I make, can I make it, can I make it, can I make it, can I make it, ha, 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 84 hours, oh, wow, y'all are strong, too, wait, what am I doing, that's the Kurzits, And they're not attacking us. No. Two, four. They are strong. And they're just sitting there menacingly. I'm sitting over here thinking this is a whole nother whatever. But it ain't. It's the Kurzites. They're not even trying to fight us. I, I just can't help but to feel like... It'd be a close battle if they did, but they're not pushing. They're not pushing me. That's weird. I'm not going to complain, though. Wow. You know, all these people are getting, are, are, are getting booted for treason. And nobody's joining me, though. I didn't even look at the troop count. I just rushed into this thinking that those two vassals were of another faction, so I have no idea where I'm going, what I'm getting into with this one. But I do know that I need these archers to get here. All right, hold right there. Come on, guys. Get moving. Siege towers always mess up the flow of troop lines. Oh, wait a minute. I messed up the flow of the troop lines. Still thinking about watching Sanjur Khan and his right-hand man just sit there 
and stare at me. Why are y'all so spread out? Get closer, get closer, get closer, as close as possible. Make two rows. Okay, fire. One, one, three, three, one, three. Wow, this is just slow, really slow. Siege tower gets in the room, gets in the way of everything. What are you guys doing? Please don't let this be another broke band video. Okay, well, there they go. I have no, uh, let's see, 36? Oh, they might not have had a lot. I'm waiting on the reinforcements. Oh, I think this castle was weak. Okay. Nope, never mind. Not weak. Not weak. But we're pushing in anyway, so here we go. No turning back. We're all we've already broke the line, so I want to keep that momentum going. I'm not gonna pull them back. I am going to let them fire, though, just in case there's archers on the ground in the courtyard. Keep pushing, guys. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. I'm going to have to help them. Where can I go? I don't want to get trapped. Come on, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. Matter of fact. Come on, archers. Come on, archers. Come this way. There we go. Come this way. Come this way. I got a new job for y'all. I want y'all to hold this position right here and start shooting. Okay, we're actually taking pretty big casualties here. I'm just gonna take the hit. I'm always falling down anyway. Let's go, charge! Slowly climb up the stairs like an old man. Here goes nothing. Come on, keep pushing, keep pushing. Come on, push in, push in, push in, guys, push in. Ouch. Oh, time to go. I'm being really dumb here. I'm going to get myself killed doing this. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, man. This is bad. Yeah. Yeah, I deserve that. I 100% deserve that. I 100% deserve I was at the... If I would have just... That was really stupid. Why? Why do I do that? Dude! Oh my god, did I really just do that? I mean, why? Why did I do that? Why did I do that? I just lost my entire army because I keep misclicking. I keep misclicking. 
Oh, never mind. It's all good. Never mind. <laughs> Dude. Dude. Okay. Okay. Is everybody still following me? What did you take from me? How did Delinard get in there? Well, Jeremy's is back, so it's not going to take nearly as long. Stupid. Just stupid stuff that I'm doing. It's not the first time that I clicked that stupid option. But at least now I know I don't necessarily lose everything. Because I thought it was done. I thought I just got smoked. All of my sergeants and sharpshooters are about to be prisoners. I'm going to take this stupid castle. And it's only going to give me one of each. I just, man. Got a little hot in here. <laughs> my blood pressure rose a little bit. Peace agreement. No, I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. I can't do it. I can't do it. All right. All right. Because of Delinard getting into the castle somehow, some way, I have no idea how he managed to do that. But because of it, we still have 100 troops to go. Oh, dude, nasty. I saw it, I, and it was disgusting. I'm so sorry that happened to you. All right, archers, come on. I'm here, archers. Okay, well, I'm not going to pull no stupid moves this time. I got cocky and overconfident, and it cost me. And then I was stupid and misclicked and thought it was about to really cost me. Open fire, 224, 224. Can I get up here? I don't like this castle. Why am I not hitting anything? Oh, I only have 10 of my guys, so... It would probably be different if it was just my troops. Come on, we got 100 guys to go and we're only at 11. We're only at 12 deaths. There we go. There we go. Oh, here we go. Oh! Back up. Back up. Just back up. Fall down. I hate not being able to participate in these battles sometimes. Push in. This castle is giving me problems. Did dude leave? Did Delinard leave at the last second? Reinforcements should have came through by now. This castle is really putting up a fight. Really putting up a fight.
Oh, wow. He left. He did leave. Well, the day is ours. See? So, this place had a lot of prisoners. But, for whatever reason, sake of balance, I... Who knows at this point? Because I don't think it's fair. You go into... Especially when you have massive, massive casualties, and you barely take over. Like, you can't rebuild your army. They just... They just do this. They take everything away from you. And just leave you one of each variant of whatever prisoner was in there. I just, I find that to be seriously unfair. But the castle's ours and I got a rusty saber out of it. Nope, no lords. We'll control the castle. Looking good.